Also on the animal beat this morning, sea turtle nesting season already beginning here on the testing in Texas coast. Nesting sites already spotted. And this morning, Sunrise reporter Victoria Baldarama tells us about a program to detect and protect our friends from the sea as they begin a new journey. Right now, some sea turtles are looking to find a safe nesting location along area beaches. There's been turtles that have been caught up in, in folding chairs and canopies and other debris on the beach as well. Andrew Orgill is a wildlife rehabilitation manager at the Animal Rescue Keep in Port Aransas. Being able to see the, the whole experience, um, if anyone's out there and happens to see the turtle emerge out the water and go through the whole process is pretty cool. To help ensure the survival of nesting sea turtles and eggs, biologists and volunteers with multiple organizations patrol Texas beaches from April through July. Um, our patrollers are trained, they know what to do if they find a turtle. Um, they know what to do if someone approaches them and says they found a turtle, um, and they know what to do if they find the tracks down there as well. Orgill says there are ways to protect threatened and endangered sea turtles on the beach. Really having the, the people out there looking really, really gets our numbers up and uh, helps us find as many as possible. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services advise people when encountering a nesting site, keep your distance and avoid disturbing the turtle and its nesting site. Anyone who is out on the beach and sees a turtle on shore should report it, says Orgill. For more information on what to do if you come across a nesting site, visit our website, KRISTV.com. Reporting in Port Aransas, Victoria Valderrama, Chris Six Sunrise. And this morning, we're getting some new information on the total number of sea turtles affected by cold weather so far this year. Sea Turtle Inc. reporting more than 13,400 cold stun turtles recorded here in Texas. More than 13,300 from the big freeze alone. That number found so far more than triples the largest cold stunning event. That's back in the winter of 2017 when a little more than 3,700 turtles were collected. More than 4,300 turtles were rehabilitated here in the state this year. All of them have been released back into the wild so far.